Hi and welcome or welcome back to the Big Knit Energy YouTube channel. This is episode 21 of my knitting podcast and I have a lot of acquisitions again um, and less progress than I would like and I have uh, one finished object and one new cast on. So let's just jump in with my finished object which you can already see on the back here is At least I'm pretty sure this is a finished object. I think I was like done with one sock in the last episode. And then I think I was like halfway through the foot on the second one. I was pretty far. But these are um, just some vanilla socks with a 20 round cuff, 60 round leg, fish lips kiss heel, 60 round foot and the normal like wedge toe. I don't really know much about the toe. Um, and these are knit in uh, Stitch Together Studios in the colorway Illuminate. There's that. Um, yeah, I, I don't have a lot to say about these. One was my uh, Sock Week sock, the second one was. But there's those. And now they are part of my decoration because they kind of go with my yellow green wall there. Um, and then next I have a whip that you have already seen before. This is my promenade blouse. Um, and it looks pretty cropped on here, but it's not really. Also, I think with blocking, when the uh, mohair stripes relax, it'll end up longer. But I finished the body and I'm working on the first sleeve. I don't know how long these sleeves are going to end up because I only had 24 grams left of the fingering weight yarn. And so I just divided it into two 12 gram balls and I'm just going to go until I run out. And I had only used like half the mohair so I have a ton left. Um, but I am knitting the size 3 of the promenade blouse by Kadri. And I'm knitting it in... Be the lifestyle yarn. The uh, mohair is in a color lavender, and the Vita Simple sock, which is a 7525, is in lavender milk. I've talked about this quite a few times, so that's why I'm kind of going over it fast since I have so many acquisitions to share. But um, I really like this, other than it has no short row shaping, so it like sits really low on my back, and I have bad posture, so. Um, Yeah, but I like everything else about it, pretty much. I do not like switching needle sizes all the time, so that sucks. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. As I spin it around a billion times. So this is where I was on the body last time. So I knit seven stripes ish there before I started on the sleeve and I really thought I would finish this by now but <laughs> I have not. I'm a resident of Sleeve Island and this is living in my Dolphina Collective bag. Um, I'll link her Etsy below but it's these little happy ramens. Super cute. She has some really cute bags. Um, and the next whip is a new cast on. This is my Salty Air Tea. And like usual, I don't have it uh, easy to show you guys because I have it bunched up. The yoke bunched up on really small cord. But this is the Salty Air Tea by Samantha Guerin. Guerin? I don't know. Samantha Glaren Designs, I'll uh, put her name here and I'll link it. So I'm on the yoke. I'm getting pretty close to being done with the yoke. Um, that's a really pretty lace pattern. If you can tell. And I'm knitting this in 
um, Wanderlook Fibers Sock Base. So it's another 75 Superwash Merino 25% nylon. Then this is the colorway Daylily. And it's mostly just uh, a tonal type of yellow, but it has a few little orange specks in it. can find you guys some orange specks. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. Um, I don't have a lot to say about it though. I really like the design. It seems like all the designs that I see kimchi and co knit and I want to knit them. <laughs> Okay, next behind me, I don't know if you can see, but this is all acquisitions, so I have a lot. I also got boba. Okay, I'm going to start with these because they're not as exciting, but I got a couple US 4s on 16 inch cables um, for hats. So I just got that Addy Turbo. I don't know. I like these for small circumference. And I don't like knitting hats magic loop until I have to. So those. And then. I went to a new, to me, local yarn store. Um, since I moved, I hadn't been to the one that was closest to me and I was getting yarn to make a couple hats. So um, I am teaching my friend to make a hat and we're gonna make the Ozzo hat. So I figured I'd make one at the same time. And I got these colors for him. I figured they would look cool model together. And it'll still be relatively neutral. I don't know, rainbow speckles, that's a neutral, right? <laughs> um, but this is Cascade Yarns Heritage, which is a sock yarn, it looks like. So it's 75, 25. Yep. It's really soft though. And then also this to go with it is uh, Malabrigo, it says Malabrigo Machita, in the colorway, uh, 698 Moon Trio Crescent. And this is 100% uh, Merino Superwash. So this one is a, a single ply, but that's okay. So I got those. And then I got both Cascade Heritage, but one is in Cascade Heritage Wave. So this is the same as the black, uh, 7525. And this one is also 7525, but it's in this cool colorway. I did not know that Cascade Yarns had colors like this. I think that's super cool and that would make such neat socks. And it's still like relatively affordable, which is so surprising. And it's super neat that they're from Washington, but these are so soft, especially this one. So I think these will look really nice modeled together. Also, I've never made an Alzo hat, but I've had the pattern for a long time, so I'm excited to make it. If you guys like those colors together, it took me forever to decide. Oh, let me show you a close-up. I don't remember if I showed you a close-up of these two. So that's that for hats. And next, I have this really cute project bag that this Gain Witch made, and she is considering selling them. Look how cute it is. And it has a little spider button. Let me show you.
and then you can unfold it so it's like a bucket and look at how nice this pocket is on the inside and it has a snap what that's so cute and it's a box bottom i could probably fit 300 gram skeins side by side in there i'm probably gonna use this for my hat though so i'll probably only do two skeins but i am so excited to use this i think when i use it show you guys all the banging little legs get stuck um i think when i use it just to make it faster i'll just um kind of flop the handle down to the side like this because it works it's like the perfect length where it sits to the side and is out of the way pretty cute i'm really excited she made me want to start trying to sew uh project bags Although I wouldn't be able to make it this nice quality. Her seams are super nice. So I wouldn't be selling them. <laughs> but just for fun out of scraps, I would like to make some. Maybe then I could send her one. So this is like super cute and I'm really excited. And I love how the purple button is a contrast. But I'll let you guys know if she starts selling them or when she starts selling them. So cute. And then, on the Skein Witch topic, I have this Skein Witch colorway from uh, Phoenix. Or Crafted by the Fates. Just look at this sock set. Um, I'll link Crafted by the Fates Etsy. Um, I'll let you know... I don't know if she still has these in stock. There was a couple last time I checked, but she could really use your support right now. Um, her son has some medical procedures that need to be taken care of coming up. So go give her your support. Um, her products are super fantastic. Look how moody and beautiful that is. And then we're continuing the witch theme. I got this book. Uh, this is The Bone Witch. And this was a recommendation from Penny Moons or Megan. So I'm excited to try reading that. I just recently got back into reading. So if you have good book suggestions, let me know. And then continuing with the witch theme. This is some Rolex. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this or not, but it's like a deep, deep black, I guess. And it has like some blue green shimmery parts and then some bright purple parts. And this is from the Wooly Witch. Wool Wooly Witch. And this is the Maleficent colorway. The Woolly Witch on Etsy, she has super beautiful roll eggs. This one is four ounces, but it's merino, bamboo, and fire star, which I think is the shiny part. Let me see. I've never spun from a roll egg before. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. I don't know how to get them out. It's just like a little fat tootsie roll. I want one with more sparkle to show you guys. But I don't want to pull them apart on accident. <laughs> These are so soft.
Anyways, based on all the, the witchy themed stuff, I'm assuming you guys can tell that I'm over summer and I would like it to be fall. No more heat, please. I also got Halloween themed fabrics from Joann's. I think I got two yards of each. This one is it says Eye of the Moon, the Leon Design Group, the Alexander Henry Fab Fabrics Collection. This is super cute. It has moths, uh, skulls, bats, a little like uh, palm, magic potion, tarot cards, a magic ball, or magic ball, crystal ball. I don't even know if I was showing you guys any of these. Black cat. Super cute. And then I just got this like little moon and star dusty pink one. I actually think these look really cute together. I don't know what I'm gonna make with these, but it's okay. And then from Republica Unicornia shop update, I got a sock bag in her iced dyed fabric. I think her name is Catherine. And look at her little zipper pull. It's a unicorn. And the sock, her sock bags are really neat because they're like a pyramid. And she just started doing ice dyed fabric. So this is new. But I think that's really cute. And I'm interested to see how the shape fits socks. I think there's tons of room in here, so it should be good. But look how pretty this is. And one of the reasons I picked this one is because I liked the colored zipper and how it matched. And then also in her shop update, she had these mock stitch markers. And these are like a, I don't know if that's almost green or what, or just highlighter yellow acrylic mocks, but I really like them. I've always been obsessed with lunar mocks. So pretty. And then I also got some of her custom glitter buttons. And these are in the colorway Unicorn Galaxy. Let me grab you out a couple. Here they are. And it came with six. Okay, moving on from the purpley and spooky vibes, I got some very summery uh, art yarn from uh, moon and yarn the same a person that I got the weaving from before that I showed you and this is some of her art yarn oh my gosh I don't even know how to show you guys this is so chunky art yarn and this is one is called watermelon okay so like here's the two strands this is so soft and she has like lime green locks spun in there and hot pink locks. This is so stinking cute. Anyways. Oh, look at her tag. This is two yards and 1.8 ounces. <laughs> so fat. And then.
I got this, I think, right after I filmed the last video. Like the same day. So I was still feeling summer then, apparently, because this is very summery. And then I also ordered a custom bat from her. So it's a mystery. And she says it's got um, Polworth, Silk Noils, Firestar, Merino, Angelina. And I just said I wanted to spin my first art yarn and I probably want to use it in the same project as I used the watermelon yarn I just showed you. And I like that this one is less bright and it has a lot more like mossy green colors in it. So I'm excited to try spinning my first art yarn and I'm excited to try making my first weaving. So I got this frame from Twines and Lines, Twine and Lines on Etsy. I'll link it below. But they have these really gorgeous wood frames and the reason I knew about them is because Moon and Yarn, uh, Brie has uh, shown their stuff before. So I thought that uh, next to my triangle weaving from Brie, it would be cool to have a bunch of other weavings and I wanted to try making one. Although I do want one of Brie's moons, they're all super cute. So I'm excited to try that. And my last acquisition is sewing related. Not that I've done any sewing for a while, <laughs> but um, I have a lot of issue cutting things straight because I put my hand down and I always let the fabric wrinkle up when I'm cutting so I get a bunch of like like weird divots in the fabric. So I got some acrylic quilting rulers so that when I do get to quilt, I will be ready. I already have a cutting mat and a Fiskars cutting wheel so I think other than this and the fabric, I'm pretty much ready to go. So you guys will get to see some quilting content soon. I was going to get so much more ready for this video and going to do a super chatty one and try to look cute and then I thought I was going to film another video talking about or like shopping my stash for a yarn to make the Alpenglow um, Andrea Mallory's Rhinebeck sweater. But yesterday I was full of energy and motivation and I was accomplishing stuff and then today I went on a bike ride today so I'm not very good at riding a bike so that was interesting but I just lost all my motivation basically it's gone I don't know where I went I must have fallen out of my pocket on the bike ride <laughs> um so instead I think I'm just going to show you guys what I was kind of thinking for the Alpenglow I'm not going to use sport weight because I have a lot of fingering weight and I don't have enough sport weight to make any, um, to meet the full quantity of yarn that I would need. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I was thinking. I have a couple ideas and I would love your feedback and opinions since I don't know which direction I want to go right now. <laughs> So basically for the bulk of the sweater, I know I need three skeins of one color in the fingering weight yarn. And I have three skeins of three different colors. One is this from Bird Street Yarn. This is in the colored way chiffon. And then I also have rainbow sprinkles um, 
from Camellia Fiber Company on their Sylvan base, which is the same one I use for my ranunculus. And they also have a like minty color with pink speckles from Crafted by the Fades, but I have a different project in mind for that. And I think with Rainbow Sprinkles, I just want to make the no frills. Um, so I think I want to use this for my main color way for the Alpen Glow. And then I have this really pretty variegated yarn from Little Wing Fibers. This is called Save the Day. And this is from the Shoujo Heroes collection. Oh, by the way, uh, this is a 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. This one is 100% Superwash Merino, both fingering weight. I'm going to take the label off this one so you can get the full variegated goodness. So it's not as crazy as like a Spin Cycle Yarns color, but I think it'll give the same color shifty goodness. And look how cute these are together. So, the tough part. Okay, apparently this isn't going back on. <laughs> I didn't mean the tough part was putting the label back on, but I guess that's it. There we go. What I was going to say is the tough part is uh, picking my other colors to go with it. So for the top, the the neck band and the cuffs, they have one color. So I was thinking about doing this. This is the Mace of Skeins Club Base in the Valentine's Colorway Cupid. Um, and then the place I have a lot of options. Well, okay, so I could do that or I could do the Wandering Flock Icy Lavender or yeah those are my two options for that and then they have a chevron motif right below that um and that one Andre Mauri uses a lace weight like cashmere and silk base held double but I only have mohair so um I could do white So it could be like that, or it could be like that, or I could skip the mohair and just do a fingering weight. So it could be like that as the chevrons, this as the cuff and the neckband, or this as the chevron, because you don't need very much yardage for the chevron. This as the neckband, two, okay, this is the neckband, two. Or, I know I'm going to have mohair left over from my, from my promenade blouse as I talk to the ground. That, and that, cute. That's too close to the same color, maybe. Um, but I almost think that I wouldn't mind skipping the mohair altogether. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because that could be kind of itchy right here. And since I do live in a warmer climate, I don't know. What do you guys think? I kind of like this colorway or this. Mm, I'm going to show you guys the colors better. I kind of like this option. It's cute. This option also goes together very well. So this option, but I like this pink tying it together. Basically, I need help. Tell me what you guys think. Oh, by the way, this is um, Cosmic Tie-Dye, also from The Wandering Flock. 
That way, if you guys do give me suggestions, let me know. Um, so basically, give me your guys' suggestions down below. And maybe I'll do a giveaway and I will draw from whoever gives me suggestions uh, who's going to be the winner. And then I'll announce it in the next video. Bye. No, not bye. Alright, so that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, I'm going, I'm traveling for work this upcoming week, so I have a lot of winding yarn to do <laughs> before I go so I can get packed. Um, until next time. Bye.